Good morning, Sam. Thanks for having me on the show. You have the pleasure of seeing the works daily as you gear towards this exhibition, but what would you say makes Fenny's work priceless and timeless? Uh, I, th I think it's the fact that uh, Dumele, I mean, the rich history of the work as well. Leaving South Africa in 1968, uh, right after successful representing South Africa at the Sao Paulo Biennale, and then, I mean, with the notorious pass laws being asked to to leave Johannesburg and be deported back to Worcester, going into self-imposed exile, and then continuing having a successful career throughout London for the 10 years and then New York. And I mean, the unfortunate passing in 1991 and finally having all of these works together in one space. A lot of the works have not been shown before and they've also, all original works casted at the Tillux Foundry in New York. So it's great having all the drawings and the sculptures in the same, in one space, under one roof, and also in Cape Town. Th this makes this exhibition a little bit more than just special. It's almost historical in nature. Yes, definitely. I, I fully agree with that. I mean, Dumele is such a big part of South African art history, and he really is one of the true masters of, of South African art. And seeing him in the space, and also artists that were influenced by Dumele, it's so great seeing the people coming into the space, young, the younger generation as well as the older generations coming in to view the works. I, obviously, from, apart from passion and talent, which was obvious and in spades, looking at the work, what, do, what have you deduced? Was the kind of, must have, you must have had a qualities when, you, when you're studying the work that very few artists are even, can even master today that are struggling to find that. He, he must have had something. What was it? I, th I think, I mean, also the situation that he was in, being in the heart of apartheid, expressing his works, trying to feel for everybody in South Africa, being so far away. You can see it evident in the lines that he uses that flows from his drawings through to his sculptures as well. He's... Oh. Uh, yeah, look, let's talk about the significance of the title mm. called Beyond the Line. Um, because you did say when we started this conversation that there are works on offer here that nobody, the public, has not seen before. What is the significance of that title? Uh, I think we we really pushed that 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 how strong Dumele's line work is, the technique that he used. Also, he was heavily influenced by jazz during all of his works, and you can see that rhythmic line that's being used in his sculptures as well as his drawings. Mm. So Beyond the Line kind of plays a reference on the fact that he has the strong line work and it has that simplicity, but also the expression in those lines. When everybody, anybody looks at it, you can see that rhythmic feel and also just see what Dumele was feeling and the way he was trying to express what people were feeling in apartheid during that time. And talking about that expression uh, of what people were uh, feeling at the time, what has the reaction been of the public that have been uh, had the privilege or have been able to come to Gallery Momo in Cape Town? What is what is your the feedback that you've received from the public? Oh, it's been amazingly well, and I think one of like I was saying earlier, some of the best feedback we've been getting is from the youth, from the younger South Africans. We've got kids coming in from high school, university as well, coming to appreciate the work, coming to look through it, and just. I mean, spending time, we've got two videos playing as well, a video that Dumele shot in 1983 in New York, as well as a documentary by Ramadan Suleiman playing in our video room. And it's an hour documentary, and we've had people coming in, sitting for the entire documentary, you know, coming in again to view the documentary. And the documentary has many people speaking about Dumele and speaking about their experiences. So I think it's really great for Cape Town to bring a show like this to Cape Town and have people appreciate Dumele. You know, he's, such, he's, he's really one of, one of the best... South African masters, I could say. So it's good seeing him in the space and having people appreciate it. And on a bit of a side note, the fact that Gallery Momo has launched there uh, a gallery in Cape Town now and kind of spreading his wings and then bringing such a significant uh, exhibition as part of, of, of that kind of uh, uh, opening quarter for the gallery, that also talks mm -hmm. about the success of Gallery Momo, doesn't it? Yes, well, I mean, it's something that we're trying in Cape Town. We've got an amazing space and we're trying to use the platform for not only South African masters and our older artists, but also for young up-and-coming artists. So we're trying to incorporate the space to, to its fullest and really promote and push our younger artists as well as established artists. 
We're going to leave it there, Sean, but thank you very much for talking to us uh, from our Seapoint Studios. Thank, thank you studios. very much as well, Sam. Uh, director from Gallery Momo in Cape Town talking to us about the uh, Demila Feni exhibition and some, as he mentioned to you, some works that has never been seen by the public. The exhibition is titled Beyond the Line. Let's take an ad break. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>